Hello, my name is Frank Noé from FU Berlin and welcome back to my deep learning lecture. In this lecture, I will introduce two probabilistic models. So first, I will give a probabilistic interpretation of classifiers, so classification neural networks in particular. And uh, to motivate that, I will actually go back to a um, shallow learning architecture that is logistic regression, where uh, the probabilistic idea of classification can be well explained and we can derive some quantities such as uh, the so-called cross-entropy loss, which we then use quite a lot in deep learning architectures as well. And in the second part, I will start um, introducing into generative neural networks. And in particular, we will begin with the so-called restricted Boltzmann machine. That's a classic architecture that's not used a lot anymore, but it's a historically very important generative model architecture. And it's very important to understand in order to see some of the principles of generative learning. So generative learning, there we have the idea that we are observing a certain probability distribution by samples. For example, let's say, images from a face database and now we want to learn uh, somehow a representation of this probability distribution and we want to be able to sample from it so we want to be able to generate new faces that somehow look alike the faces um, from the from the database that we have seen and um, so we will start with restricted Boltzmann machines and then in the next lecture we will go on and, and talk about more modern architecture such as variational autoencoders and generative adversarial networks. So this is the plan for today. Enjoy the lecture. We begin our investigation of probabilistic models by looking at classifiers or classification neural networks. So we have for example input images such as cats and dogs and we want to categorize them into cats and dogs so we have a two category classification problem or we have MNIST data so input images with handwritten digits between 0 and 9 and we want to map them to 10 classes between 0 and 9 and we have used softmax outputs previously in order to encode the classification at the output. So that means that at some point you have a linear layer at the output and you map this through a softmax function and the softmax function maps every output neuron to a value between 0 and 1 and makes sure that the sum of these output neurons equals 1. So that means you can interpret this output as um, probabilistic classification or clustering or fuzzy clustering or in other words the probability of finding a certain class given the input image. So probability of class given input. So that's a probabilistic interpretation of what the neural network does. Now previously we have ignored this probabilistic nature of these classifiers and instead just said okay we present the labels uh, as a one hot encoding so in this case we use uh, n by 2 and in this case a n by 10 array and then we simply mark in every row of that array uh, whether it's a cat or a dog or which of the digit it is in the label array so in the in the array that we train with respect to to which we minimize the prediction error and then we used simply the square norm in order to take the difference between the softmax outputs and this label array and minimize this mean square error. So that's one way to do that. But in uh, this lecture now we really want to look at the probabilistic interpretation and ask what is the right probabilistic loss to be used here? What is the right uh, learning problem in a probabilistic sense and what does this lead us to? And this will lead us for example to logistic regression in the beginning so that's what we will start with then we will learn about cross entropy and then later talk about generative uh, neural networks which is starting another topic but also uh, building on um, probabilistic interpretation of learning problems. <laughs> 